On this episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to do a quick review of the QVC edition of the Arcade 1-Up Miss Pac-Man Countercade, right now. Okay guys, we are back, and man, is she pretty. This is definitely the Miss Pac-Man we've been waiting for from Arcade 1-Up. Absolutely gorgeous artwork on the sides of this cabinet. Beautiful bright blues and pinks and yellows reminiscent of the good old days. Back of the cabinet you have your vent holes. No handle though. And of course beautiful pink trim. Looking at the front, Arcade 1UP did a fantastic job designing this cabinet. It really really brings back the original Miss Pac-Man in all her glory. Missing a light-up marquee, but the bezel itself is fantastic. Considering how small this device is, the prints, everything surrounding the bezel, the fact that the bezel lines up really well with the control deck, might be off by a hair depending on how you have your screws set. But all in all, great control deck. Wish that ball top was pink, but then again, white and red wore the colors back in the day. The buttons themselves, although I always say I want Arcade 1UP to put top of the line controls in these things, I actually don't mind these in this particular cabinet. The goal is to get these things around 100 bucks or so, and obviously we're not going to get our Sanwa controls in there, but the joystick is really good. And obviously on this little uh, front plate here, the artwork is fantastic with our pre-drilled holes. Uh, for the speaker. This only has one speaker. Taking a look at the size difference and the reason why I got uh, the QVC edition with only two games included is I already have the Dig Dug Countercade and you can really see the size difference comparison here between both these products. This thing definitely looks like a baby compared to the old school Arcade 1UP Countercades. Speaking of which, on that Dig Dug I did do a light up button marquee as well as a light up marquee as well as a light up button mod from DIY Retro Arcade as well as the marquee came from Angel Otero. Check my channel for those videos if you're interested. I mean when you take a look at these countercades even though they're small light up marquees are the way to go. I really wish Arcade 1UP had put a light up Miss Pac-Man marquee and of course I bought the countercade because I already built a Miss Pac-Man so I'm not going to be buying the full size Miss Pac-Man that Arcade 1UP is releasing soon. Had that with the 60 and 1 installed taking a look here obviously we only have two games included on the qvc edition we have miss pac-man and then of course you have super pac-man so of course our menu system is very short just one screen when you kind of take a look here and get her fired up you'll notice that the joystick actually works really well i'm actually happy with this joystick it feels like the same joystick that's in the 40th anniversary pac-man that i also have no complaints with the joystick on that cabinet, although I did have other issues with that cabinet. But taking a look here, it plays great, it sounds great. Some folks said they were having some sound issues, but I'm not detecting any myself here. Call me crazy, let me know if you hear them, but I don't. Taking a look here, there's definitely, you have to sit dead on on this thing. If you kind of move to the side or to the angles, the screen is going to wash out on you, as you can kind of see here. Let's kind of move a little bit to the side. You'll notice it starts washing out. So definitely, you can't huddle up in a group and play this game. Taking a look here at Super Pac-Man, the game plays the way it should. The emulation is fine. There's actually a little stutter kind of built into the emulation. So when you're playing the game, you might see the ghost kind of skip a, skip a step. Let's see if we get that to pop up here. Where all the ghosts kind of stop moving. Everything's playing the way it should for now. Right there. If you saw it right there. Everything, it's like the game kind of froze, but that's the way the game was. So for instance here, we are over on our um, modded Ms. Pac-Man machine that has a 60 and one board in it. And that same stutter is built into this board. Boom, it just happened right there. So kudos to Arcade 1UP. They mimic the same thing that the original game, or not the original, just what the arcade ROM does that the 60 and one board also has as well. Also, you'll notice on a 60 and one, the graphics do look a lot sharper. And of course, on a 60 and one, you can get the hearts mode and the fast mode and all that kind of stuff uh, put in. But unfortunately, you can't do that on this particular uh, countercade from Arcade 1UP. 
Okay, back on the Arcade 1UP. Now, these things uh, through QVC, I have a link in the video description below, 129 bucks. In my opinion, due to only having two games on it, plus uh, the quality of the LCD screen, I'm thinking these things should be 100 bucks or less, 99 or less. If you can get it for that price, I think you'll be happy with your purchase. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed the review. Overall, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. I'm pleasantly surprised that minus a couple issues with the screen, everything else is playing the way it should. Wish it had a light-up marquee, but the rest is history. Decent job, Arcade 1UP.